So we're moving on to the internet weather, and I've got a couple interesting anomalies for this week I'd like to share with you. Uh, first off is the number of scan flows on port 5353 UDP, which is multicast DNS. Uh, you can see here that there's a very, it's almost you know regimented scanning, very intense peaks of, of scans, I would say about seven to eight days apart. It's interesting, uh, it's all from a known legitimate scanning source, uh, an organization that does sort of scans and, and surveys of the internet. I don't think it has to do with any particular vulnerability, but uh, it is interesting to see that they've got this sort of down on a clockwork. So it's probably, I'm gonna make a, a bit of a guess here that I think that in the rest of the space between those, you've got a number of other ports being scanned as well. Didn't do the research on that, but I feel like if this, this intensive a scanning, it doesn't make sense to wait that long. And knowing their, their mission, I feel like this is a tiny slice of a bigger picture. Uh, the next up, one up is port 993 TCP, which is IMAP S, secure IMAP. You can see from the graph that we have a certain, a certain uh, increase in the duration of these scans around 124. And you can see a couple of peaks with that same, uh, that same time slice. Uh, at a, a large peak, I'm gonna say around uh, 131. Uh, that one's significant. This is primarily from a US university, again, with a, a mandate to do some sort of internet survey research. Uh, I don't think it's anything particularly to worry about from a security standpoint. And again, no known vulnerabilities at this point, but simply someone's trying to put together a picture of what servers are running what services. Um, for their own knowledge, for what purpose, one can only speculate. Um, scan flows on port 10,001 TCP. Now this one is related to a vulnerability. Recently, there was a known there was a vulnerability released um, for automated tank gauges for a particular provider listening on port 10,001. These automated tank gauges are devices that are, they're basically smart gas pumps at you know a convenience store or a gas station. Uh, this allows you to monitor them. It's sort of a, the internet of, of things for, for gas stations. Yeah, and, one thing we should point out, this the uh, the blog post was done by H.D. Moore, who will be a guest here on the show uh, in a couple of weeks. So we'll, we can actually ask him a little bit more about the, his research on that. But I, I did want to mention that he will be on the show in a couple of weeks. That's a good point, and I'm looking forward to that episode very much. Bit of a fanboy. <laughs> um, you can see that there was a, a spike back in January for the same port, but that was, I think it's unrelated because the, the data was actually released around, I'm gonna say the 22nd, you can see a certain uh, spikes here for what I'd say is preliminary scanning. And then you see a large block starting on the 30th, which is someone's dedicated effort to scan that whole, I, I probably just scan most of the IP space. Again, it's, it's a, a small number of sources, large number of scans. I am puzzled a bit as to what that large spike was around uh, early January. There are other services running on these ports as well. I think the Ubiquiti Wi-Fi access point system uses that for a sort of a, a discovery protocol. But again, got to speculate in this case. And Jim, if you wouldn't mind going through the, uh, the most probed ports and most SIPs probing, please. Yep, yep. So this week, really not, not anything particularly new. Our top two ports are you know, the same as as last week, and uh, the rest of them kind of shuffled around. TCP-135 is still the most probed port, followed by the 9064 TCP, SSDP, 1900 UDP, SSH, DNS, 445 TCP, which is the, a lot of, still a lot of config are out there, 1433, which is Microsoft SQL Server, 8080 TCP, which is usually proxies or things like Tomcat. Port 110, POP3, which first appeared last week and uh, is dropped down to 10th on the list this week. It's interesting to note that the, the other portion, the, the other high ports that we've noticed here, is a significant portion of the graph this week. I'm not sure what to say about that conclusively. It's maybe that the overall volume of scanning on the internet potentially has increased and you have a lot more one-offs that are being scanned. You have any thoughts on that? There are about 1,300 ports that that constitute the other this week. Uh, last week it was about 1,100. So there, we've seen scanning on a few more ports. The other is, you know, is, is a significant chunk this week. It's about, you know, it's in excess of 40 percent. There, not quite 50 percent. 
we've had weeks where it was this bad. We've had weeks where it was smaller, where the top 10 were just a bigger chunk of things. I'd, no, I'm, I'm not sure I'd read too much into that at this point. All right. Always a viable answer. And then our, our most sources doing the probing, uh, again, the, no change at all in the top six this week. Uh, seven and eight flip-flopped. Nine stayed the same. The one that did pop into the top ten this week at number ten was port 3159 UDP. That's a port I think we've mentioned in the past, and we still really don't know what it is that the the bad guys are looking for on this particular one. TCP 23 Telnet password guessing is at the top of, of the list for most sources probing this week at almost almost a quarter of the probing. And then 445, the 27015 UDP is gaming. Uh, the 6881 UDP and TCP are a bit torrent. We've discussed that in the past. 1900 UDP is SSDP. And then, as I said, this 3159 UDP. I don't, do, you, do you remember what what we kind of thought was most prevalent there? We still, as I said, we don't know what exactly they're looking for here. But, Matt, do you remember what that was? I believe this was related. The, the only name we could come up with it on the Internet was Navega Web Tarification. And uh, Navega Web being uh, some sort of service provider and tarification roughly translating to, to billing or payment. So... Um, I'm not sure what the actual service is, but we have seen it before, and we continue to be very interested in it. So if any of our viewers do have any more information about it, we'd love to hear about it. Yeah, so we, it's, it's one that we really don't know exactly what's going on here. We continue to keep an eye on it. But uh... 